This presentation shows how we can use ground penetrating radar to locate drainage fields or leach fields associated with septic systems. Septic fields can be designed in a variety of ways, but typically you'll have some sort of piping that extends from the septic tank itself out into the drain field that's been constructed. Normally it will be filled with some sort of gravel and then the piping will wrap around or extend through that gravel area. This is one example shown here with a smaller diameter piping. Here's another example of a septic field with larger diameter corrugated piping. Uh, whatever the case, it's very common that the locations of these drain fields are not known, especially on older properties where the septic field was constructed sometime in the past. And so when these types of properties are being redeveloped or for whatever reason, uh, ground penetrating radar can be a very useful geophysical technique to locate these drain fields and the piping associated with them. What we use at Pyramid is what's called a utility scan DF radar instrument. It's made by GSSI and it is beneficial for this type of work because it is a multi-frequency instrument. It has two different frequency antennas built into it, which allows us to collect very high resolution data uh, in the shallow subsurface, the upper two feet or so, as well as deeper down to 10, 12, even 15 feet, depending on the geology. So it's ideal for locating things like utilities, septic drain fields, as well as uh, underground storage tanks, rebar and concrete, those types of things. This particular case study that we're looking at here, behind this building on the east side there was a septic drain field or leach field but its location was not exactly known we ran multiple gpr transects and reconnaissance scans throughout the area and what we're showing here are just two of those transects and the areas or the locations where we did cross what was interpreted to be the septic drain field piping and just to show you what that looks like, these are those four lines. Some of them are showing up a little bit better than others, but there are four distinct drain lines imaged by the GPR. Uh, this is on the south side and then on the north side of that property. Uh, in this image, you can actually see in addition to the drain lines, there were some roots that were creating similar features so that's just something that you do have to look out for but it's a very successful application of gpr to find these septic drain fields as long as there's enough contrast between the piping and gravel and the surrounding native soil it can be a very effective tool in locating these drain fields in situations where we may not know exactly where they were constructed